Simplicity of passing and catching, securing the basketball. Southern has not done that. There's Norris and Crutwig combining. One of the best ways to score against this Rambler defense is just that way. Broken plays and opportunities, you've got to make the most of them. Like With a quick roll, no rotation by the Ramblers. It was tardy. Williamson fires it in for Crutwig, and he gets it in. to go here. Game one of this important Missouri Valley Conference Series. Tate Hall from Norris. Yes! And they're 32 out of 35. Crutwig wide open. What a great find. Great. Well, all the defense is paying attention to him, then you're in good shape to win games. Four. Atlantic 10 is a different conference this year. No Obadiah Toppin in Dayton, Ohio. Although Anthony Grant's team is still very good. And that should stay. It's 60 44. And what a. And a straight up man again. They do this a little bit, and then the wrinkle of the matchup. Nice pass. On right now by Wisconsin as Davis knocks down the shot. Straight away three. That is drilled by Tom Well. Situation, and if I were coaching him, I wouldn't be concerned. Yeah, well, you, I mean, you took a few of those in your day. Nice drop. Norris gets to the free throw line, keeps going in the paint, puts it up himself and scores. Ten teams. Seven are expected to get a bid on Selection Sunday, which is exactly one month from today. Kennedy. What's great about this Wisconsin team that it could be one guy one night, another guy another night. Crutwig, nice athleticism. In the Valley, Roman Penn and Cameron Crutwig. And Penn has shown you why he needs to be in that conversation. First lead for Drake since it was 14 to 12 with 7.57 to go in the first half. Marquise Kennedy got it. Kennedy gets a lane and attacks and will roll it in. Stretch now. Here's Kennedy. Goes by Hannah and finishes with authority. Four this year for the Ramblers. There you see 19 conference road wins since that magical Final Four season. That one off the glass. And it believes this is a two-bid league in the Valley. That could change after this weekend. Well, Drake has to come back in this game. Bringing their big guys high. It's been a disaster for Missouri State handling Loyola's bigs. Elbow jumper connects. And across to Hebb. Morris will curl it back out for the Ramblers, who hold a five-point lead. Now five of their last seven from the field. Great Move pass. Block inside. There's Crutwig. Had it blocked. Second chance. Good. And a foul. That pass by Gordon. Five-star. This is off Ugua. Three fouls protecting him, but I think momentum's starting to get away. I know he's probably waiting to that under 12 timeout, but I think you go to him a little bit earlier. Here's Kennedy on the drive, draws the... Just rips it away from him. So 0 for 1 on their first possession after Illinois State was 32% in the first half. Straight line drive, and right to the free throw line goes... Two points. That won't happen tomorrow night. Nolan will come out ready to play. And Bradley's last win in this series with Loyola. A two-point win in the 2019 Missouri Valley Conference Tournament in the semifinals. We'll get to try again tomorrow. Is love to play back-to-back. -back. Yeah. You know, and if you're a coach and you're playing well, you'd love to play back-to-back -back because you feel like you have the rhythm. Now a three-try from Welch from the corner is true. It's what. A nine in the rankings, and I believe the Valley this year, Danny, is a two-bid league. Definitely can be, maybe even a three-bid league, depending on how Missouri State can finish. Nice pass by Crutwig, and 
has led by more than four points today. We expect this kind of tight action all throughout the weekend. This is the first of two games in the Valley between these two. Here's Tom Welch now for Loyola. And he was bodied up by 22-14, Bradley on top. Kicks it out. Nice pass in the corner for Clemens, and he lost in overtime to Drake. Barely beat Valpo by two, and last night won by eight, despite leading by 16 at one point in the second half. And there's <laughs> end of conversation. You see, Crutwich looked on that glass close up, though. He's looking at Porter Mosier like, You don't let me shoot threes, and you're letting Hudson go out there and just tee him up. Wow. Yeah. They are building a really good program on the north side of Chicago, and this year is no different. Top 25 ball club, they do it on the defensive end. And ironically, they both shared their last opponent. Crutwig with a great find there. Epitomizes a winner, this kid. Going over the top. He's got Norris rushing, though. Norris back outside with it, Kennedy. What a move. Woo. Again, Stewart. I don't think Cutwick was making a pass there. I think he was just trying to not lose the ball. But it ended up being a great pass, and Ugwok missed the shot. Shot clock at three. Into the cutting, Williams, and cut it! Oh, what a play! Drake, after trailing by as many as nine. Loyola has two elite defenders, Williamson and Ugwak, and they both have tremendous size. They're using that against Penn. Hall, good pass to Ugwak, and he had... Dan Muller it probably took out some of that frustration on the bench press. He's one of those guys. He hasn't aged in those nine years. He had a phenomenal Christmas sweater on coaching last night's game. The abdominal snowman. Into Crutwig, deep post kill. But he is an excellent three-point shooter. They've gone 0 7 until that hit. Break now to within three. Noise on top. Here comes Tate Hall. Good block from Molly. In the corner. That's a three, and it's right down the hatch. Braden Norris. Very solid point guard for the Ramblers. Transfer from Oakland. Had nine assists yesterday. Clemens kicks, Norris launches, and buries a three. He has not got open looks. Some of it's because Lucas Williamson has locked him up. They've also had Clemens on him. Uglock left open, and the three-pointer falls. Some explosive guys on this Illinois State team. Fleming, a guy that I think is going to have a big future with the Redbirds. One thing that's been cool to see is that DJ Horn has really taken this year. Yeah, they knocked down eight a game on the season. And when you talk to Coach Byron Mullen, Brian Mullins, he, he felt that that is something that they needed to do, is hit threes to then be able to... Back to Southern Illinois. Since his second foul on Filowich. Look at that, Williamson, great baseline drop. Still 14 on the shot clock. Top of the key, here's Welch for three. Again, he had four threes in the first few minutes of the game last night. But then they put Lucas Williamson on him and kind of shut him down. Here's Marquise Kennedy, one of the best bench players in the country. And he's had great games against Southern Illinois. Again, last night he had 16. Norris got from three. Alpo takes a two-point lead. A we drip under 440 to play. Williamson around Clay. Clemens in rhythm. Clemens, 32. Clemens, 32. 
Booker jumper for three. In front of it. <laughs> I think he's warming up. I don't think he was buying that from me. He likes that mustache. Porter still makes a case once in a while, asks him to shave it. This is Welch inside. Boy, of a team which is experienced all five starters back from last year's squad. They're the second oldest team in the Valley, just behind Drake. And, you know, Drake's team is older than the Chicago Bulls starting five. Sworn and Heisey are no longer playing like freshmen. Again, Northern Iowa just three and eight on the year, but the record can fool you because they've got so many, so many new faces. It's almost like baseball, where you play the back-to-back. -back. The great thing about baseball is you play the next night. So good things happen, flush it. Bad things happen, flush it. That doesn't happen in college basketball often. Here's Crutway right back in. I, all Ramblers. Sixteen point lead at halftime for Loyola. They've only grown that advantage. The game's worn on. Welch on the wing hits a three. Loyola trying to keep it within single digits here in the final few minutes of this first half. And again, nice work there from Golden as he, boy, he had denied the entry pass and then. Skip it around, Kafis to Welch. That's nice passing right there. Both of these teams had virtually their entire non-conference schedules wiped out. Crutway with a catch. He's a great passer from the high or low post. Look at that. Clemens rattles home. Point game. Loyola has been cold here in the second half. It's kind of been a rock fight here in game two. Not a lot of scoring. Crutway. That is madness, wow. but no, he knocked it down. He's got 10 only player in double figures. Regular season champion. Loyola Chicago. Paul. It's cutting down low. The freshman has it. Brody is there. He puts it up and over him. What a shot by Jacob. Noah Frederick now with eight. And now Norris answers with a three of his own. So three balls being traded by these two teams. Now just over 30 seconds to go in the half. Into the paint, Ooh. nicely. And a five point game. Norris gets to the free throw line, keeps going in the paint, puts it up himself and scores. Loyola has done an admirable job on the glass today. They've been attacking the window. That's what I think Drake was known to do. It's been Loyola on the offensive glass here in the second half. Norris caught in deep. Back to Ugwak trailing. Four big time shots, big time moments. Another, another victim yet again. Kennedy going around the edge. Kennedy slicing through. Three ball, Williamson got it again. Boy, he has had a nice.